Uh, my right honourable and learned friend is right that, of course, as we look to that future relationship, we are looking at the customs arrangement that would be in place in that future relationship. We have already indicated, as is reflected in fact in the political declaration, that we want to retain the benefits of a customs union of no tariffs, uh, no quotas, no rules of origin checks, and that is provided for in the, uh, in the political declaration. Stands. Of course, what we do see is, is we haven't been able to uh, enshrine that in legal text because it's not possible for the European Union to negotiate that treaty with us until we're a third country, until we're out of the European Union. Uh, so any commitments that are made here will be about the negotiating objectives that we take through into that, uh, into that process, but there will still be negotiations to be had with the European Union. Um, but in uh, terms of adding to and clarifying what is in that political declaration and the position of the uh, UK Government. Obviously, as I've indicated, the EU Council have said that they would be willing to look at additions and clarifications to that political declaration.